Today's task six of the 2019 World Hang Gliding Championships. We have come to Jamona, and as you can see, I am stood right in the middle of a sea of gliders because there's so many of us and it is fantastic. Uh, the conditions are not looking so good today, so I'm not quite sure what sort of tasks they're going to set. Uh, we're just all getting ready for briefing now. The excitement's hotting up and uh, getting ready to go. Um, you might have noticed yesterday I fixed my camera mount after breaking it in the air. I, I, luckily I had a spare part and I managed to fix it. Uh, so I'm able to continue with the GoPro footage, which I'm really pleased about. Uh, and so that's it. We'll see how we go. Right. <laughs> so today we've got a uh, low cloud burst, difficult conditions. We're taking off here, flying out into the flats here. Going out to the east to a turn point in the flats over here. Back to the west again to a turn point still out in the flats. And finally, to the same goal as usual at Bordano. So, so it's a more difficult day than we've had previously. Uh, there are safety concerns hey, Jane, can you because of the... Sorry? What do you want? Have a good flight, buddy. This is, this is very famous hang glider pilot, Evan. Beyond, be, you would not recognise him without the beard. Currently, <laughs> he, he's grown with him and I'm pleased to meet him. Cheers, ready. So coming on my YouTube, mate. <laughs> so low cloud base today, more difficult, which makes it more safety concerns. Uh, but we're flying over areas where there's plenty of landings, so uh, it's really safe in that respect. Uh, and I'm looking forward to another good task. Take off line. Things are hotting up. It's nearly time to go. Since I saw thee, I saw thee on every mobatar. Where has the been since I saw thee? I saw thee. Where has the been since I saw thee without the trousers on? On every mobatar, where's that? On every mobatar, you shot on every mobatar. That is me doing it for Yorkshire. So one thing about this competition that is a good thing is that they are very safety conscious. There is a system in place where pilots can relay safety concerns back to the organisers whilst they're in the air. There are three levels. One means you think it's safe. Two means you get a bit worried about it and it's a bit dangerous. Three is you think it's really dangerous and should be stopped. So currently, two of the English pilots have called a level two on this and that will be relayed back to the organisers. In fact, it has been relayed back to the organiser. Uh, the main director makes a decision about whether to continue or carry on, uh, stop the task. Uh, now that's dependent on a number of pilots. If there's only one or two pilots that say it's unsafe, then they're unlikely to stop it. But if they get lots of reports, there's a good chance they'll stop the task. The level two basically means we're concerned about it. We'll still fly, but we're starting to get a bit worried. 
and that's because of the low cloud base which is making the compression of all the pilots flying closer together and a fear of people disappearing into cloud not being able to see each other and colliding with each other so I'm being extra especially careful I mean I always am careful but extra especially careful because of this low cloud well I got low just before the first start so I've stayed where I am, I haven't taken the start I'm waiting for the next start which is in 4 minutes so that can set off with some height and I think that might be no bad move because I think the conditions could well improve through the day so we'll see what happens hopefully it will be a good move and with a gaggle so I've got other people to work with in order to find thermals and I won't be doing it on my own three minutes until the next start Here's keeping my fingers crossed. over a lot faster than I thought it would which I think has uh, really repressed the thermals suppressed even there's people on the floor there's people on the floor already I'm not far off joining them. This is very weak, this thermal. Go up at all. There's a seagull there, mate, and he's flapping. Someone what would refer to as a death line. Desperate to find some lift.
like an early lunch. Lost that thermal. I'm 1500 foot. Looking at the landings. Somebody's about to land in here. There are some obstructions in it, so could be an interesting landing, you have to be very careful. There's also a lot of power lines around here. But that is about the best looking field. He didn't have such a good landing. It wasn't horrendous. This is Donna, uh, going to be London now. Uh, 8k from the turnpoint, first turnpoint, second turnpoint. There's two people landed. Second one's got a drug shootout. Concentrating now on a safe landing. There's a lot of structures in the landing field, I don't know what they are, they look a bit like big giant beehives. Turning down the wind here, or some crosswind. And then I can turn into wind when I get a bit lower. Got my legs ready to come out. Plenty of speed on. Legs out now. Full speed on. Well, not my best landing. I uh, flared too late with that, which is why I dropped a wing. But uh, not bad enough to do any damage. Uh, didn't complete the task today, I'm really peed off. I left it to the second start because I didn't have a good position on the first start. Uh, thought that it might get better. They did say today will be better later. But it just clouded over and all the thermals died and I really struggled all the way. So, I'm well down the field, probably a last place, not last place, but a long way down. Really difficult for me today, peed off for myself, but I did my best, and I had a good fly, and I'll do better tomorrow. See you tomorrow.